Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this video we will be sharing another exciting adventure here in Canada. We've been invited by Chainlink Disc Golf to check out another one of their amazing projects. If you haven't seen the Albion Hills video, our friends Jeff and Kara have been busting their butts in order to grow the Canadian disc golf scene. They have been working day and night with different conservation areas to create these beautiful disc golf courses. We are super excited to announce their creation of the Chainlink Disc Golf Conservation Series. The next course that is being revealed is the Kelso Conservation Area. So let me take you along, show you some of the hard work that goes into building a course and some of the extra goodies that this conservation area has to offer. We started off the day at the trailhead and met the amazing team that works so hard to make Kelso the great place that it is. Yes. Now that's a frisbee right there. <laughs> we were super eager to get to the disc golf course, but they had a few surprises for us. We started off with a nature walk showcasing some of the beautiful views and amenities. We were caught off guard with how big this place was. They have a beautiful beach, fishing, boat rentals, hiking, biking, and so much more. We were then led to our next activity, the high ropes. I don't know if you've ever been on one of these, but it is way scarier than it looks. Once you're up there, it seems so much higher. <laughs> and then step over. Oh, well, we're ready to go. Dang, looking uh, good. It's always, it's always a We're here at the aerial ropes doing the escarpment walk. <laughs> I've never done this before, but I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her go, guys. Wow, look at that balance. Do a hop. <laughs> it's scary. Look at this girl go. She's so talented. It's safe to say we're having a weird day. That's Chantel. You got it, yeah. Oh gosh. You did it. I did it, without falling. <laughs> I took my time on the high ropes obstacle, which was a blast, and then Chris dominated the rock climbing wall. <laughs> you did it. Nice. Yeah. Now bounce back. They also have archery and an inflatable water park. There are so many options for family fun here, disc golf being one of those, and it's getting a big upgrade. They now have a full course steps away from all these activities, which will provide Conservation Halton one more way to get people out and into nature. They will be incorporating disc golf into all of their summer camps that host over 4,300 kids. They also have a disc golf specific camp this summer with over 60 kids enrolled that will be focusing on the easier nine holes at Kelso. The front nine has already been established by Jeff and Kara, but they have been working on the back nine, which is why we are here. They wanted to show us around and get our opinions and thoughts on the design. Just to describe this course to you, the front nine is utilizing the space closest to the trail hub and seems to be the more scorable portion. Whoa. QR codes and we launched a website specifically for the event and the event is going to be raising money for each of the conservation authorities so each conservation authority has a foundation so this website will take you to each of their foundations so the idea is I know how competitive disc golfers are and hopefully we can all get really competitive to see how much money we can raise for each of the conservation authorities. They stepped up the difficulty for the back nine and created a beautiful, challenging layout that both beginners and advanced players will enjoy. Since it was still under construction, we were able to share our input and add some of our own personal touches to the course. So the way that the idea with this one is, it's one of those, it's the expression goes, um, you can't get there from here. <laughs> you can't get there from here. You, you have to go that way, but you can try. It's, uh, it's a fun one. Oh, it's gonna go deep. Oh, you're safe. safe. That's a really well played shot. It's okay. a really well played shot. Nice. This is gonna be the official OB <laughs> line right to this tree. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. This is Chantel's <laughs> choice. So, you wanna put in the next one as well? Okay. Chantel's adding OB to this hole because she thinks she, it needs it. So if you ever play here and you go OB, blame Chantel. <laughs> Look at that. I got a bird. Let's 
Oh. Oh, it's great. Great Safe. shot. <laughs> <laughs> what are those called? Vultures? That's right. Yeah. So those are always there. Are they? That's actually the logo of this entire conservation Halton is those birds because oh, okay. they're always flying around the escarpment. That's so cool. So like, like Bond villain layer type stuff, you know? <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, we're here at Kelso. This is the expansion. This is the fifth hole. We're thinking that this might actually be one of the hardest holes in all of Ontario. It's par five, um, and it is, how many feet is it, Kara? 675 or so. There. Yes. Oh, nice. Wowee. Fairly. Yeah, that's definitely a hard hole. <laughs> what I really like about this hole is you actually go under a hydro corridor and how many disc golfers are out there saying, how great would it be to build a disc golf course under a hydro corridor? Well, we have it on hole eight at the Kelso expansion. <laughs> What's also great about it is all of the foliage underneath the hydro corridor is all invasive species. So it's being cleared already. It needs to be cleared more and um, it's a really um, fun, putting spot. So the first shot is you want to stay left of this tree, or sorry, this pole, um, and then work your way down to the right. Here we go. That'll work. <laughs> there it is. Can you guys see that? It's over there. Disc golf has brought us to so many places we would have never seen, and we're hoping it brings more people out to experience these amazing views as well. While designing these courses, conservation has been key. Disc golf is great because it's non-destructive, lets people experience the outdoors, requires little maintenance or changes to the environment, and has given Conservation Halton great outlets to upcycle materials to build their courses. I absolutely love that all 18 tee pads were built using reclaimed brick. And to cap off the day, we had special access to Area 8, which as you can see, speaks for itself. Who would have thought that disc golf would lead us here? Chris and I are always so thankful that we took up the sport and picked up the camera. It's super exciting to see your friends succeed at what they are trying to do, especially when it's something that affects your community in such a positive way. All the hard work that Jeff and Kara put into building these courses and the conservation series is another huge step forward for the future of Canadian disc golf. We want to thank you guys for coming out. One of the things that we're really excited about this year is launching the Chainlink Conservation Series. It's going to be a PDGA sanctioned tournament series that is at a bunch of the different courses that we built uh, with the conservation authorities. So first stop is at Albion Hills in June and the second stop will be at Kelso in September. So we hope to see you there. All right, so that is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.